Hi, welcome to a Nutritarian in La La Land. I am making a three bean, uh, a three bean chili, vegan chili, obviously. And um, I'd like if you like my videos, hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, or else for some reason. YouTube takes you off as a subscriber, and I keep losing subscribers because people aren't actively, excuse me, in a niche, um, actively uh, using their subscription to my channel, I guess. But um, follow me on Instagram because when I'm done with my recipe, I show the results on Instagram. Same name, a nutritarian and la la la. Okay, guys, I pre, I pre did a few things, but right now I'm cutting up two bell peppers. And we're gonna put that in your in the chili. And we're doing it in my uh, pressure cooker, a lot easier. You can do it in your um, crock pot if you want to. You just throw all the ingredients as I say how they you know what they are. You're gonna use one onion, one and a half cups corn kernels, no salt. Either cut them off the corn the corn cob or put them in from frozen, or a can that has no salt. One and a half cups of corn. One onion, small onion, cut up, diced. Two bell peppers, diced up, just as I'm doing. And you got uh, one cup of mild, salt-free salsa. Homemade, preferably because it's more fresher that way. Then we've got, okay, it's a little bit, this is two cups of diced tomatoes, fresh, fresh tomatoes. <clears throat> you getting that down, guys? Gotta write it down as I say it. And then if you, if you didn't, if you missed it, pause it and rewind it, you know how that works. So you can get the whole recipe in the right amount. And um, if you like extra veggies in yours, like me, I'm following the recipe, but I'm not following the recipe. That's usually how I am. I like to put extra veggies in things because it's better nutrition, you know, more vitamins, yada, yada. <laughs> I got a, a zucchini and a yellow squash I'm going to dice up too, which wasn't in the recipe. And I did put an extra bell pepper in this recipe. And I cut the onion ahead of time because I hate cutting onions on camera because I end up either my eyes water or I'm so, you know, making noises, sniffling and stuff. It's <laughs> not like my dog. I don't want that. Well, even though I just did it right now. Duh. And the beans you want. Let's see, what is it? Two, four. Eight cups of beans. It, um, I'll tell the exact measurement, and oh, that's an end piece, I don't want that. Um, it's a 30 ounce, well they say cans, I use fresh beans all the time, I make my own beans in my pressure cooker. It's 30 ounce can, which is four cups of kidney beans, okay, and then 15 ounce can of black and a 15 ounce can of, of, of pinto, which I use fresh again at 15 ounces just two cups I know 16 ounces is two cups but I just I just measure it if it's fresh it's two cups so you got two four six eight eight cups of beans total that's the main ingredient of course and you're gonna want some veggie broth. Well, my veggie broth I make homemade, and it's this time it's a tomato based. There's tomato, more tomatoes in my veggie broth, so that'll that'll work out really well for this recipe. Ooh, squeaky! Well, I'm not a professional chopper. I'm not Martha Stewart. <laughs> I'm far from it. Hey guys, I've lost almost 90 pounds. I'm so excited. I'm in my workout clothes because I'm going to go work out later, so I know I look kind of silly. 
I'm wearing a bright colored shirt, which I usually like to wear pretty colored shirts in the video. I think it looks nice. Then I wore makeup. Probably gonna sweat the darn stuff off. But I like to wear makeup when I'm doing my videos. I think one of them I didn't. I was in one of my, uh, it was a really quick video I did. I think it was the broth, maybe. The broth video I did. I wore my workout clothes in my Pippi Longstocking pigtails. Okay. You know what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just do that amount. It's, it's about two cups. And um, I'm gonna do this. Like that, and then cut it down the middle. And yeah, we'll just chop it up like that. You want all kinds of veggies. Wish I had mushrooms. I like to put mushrooms in everything. G bombs. Whoopsie. There we go. I'm trying to make. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, but I didn't have mushrooms. I have, all my mushrooms are in my spaghetti sauce. <laughs> I like make my own sauce, as you know, by watching my videos. This is yellow squash. It, uh, it turns out really good in, in your vegan soups and um, bean recipes. Okay. So one little one, you know, small size one. Oh, you bay. Uh, I cut that funny. I'll do that, okay. And then we're going to do one little zucchini, okay? Yeah. This is the best part of vegan cooking. The beautiful colors and the fresh ingredients. Don't use processed foods, guys. It'll kill you. Slowly. Processed foods, salt, oil, and sugar. No sugar in my recipes. Uh, oh yeah, I was looking for the zucchini. It blended into the countertop. The countertop? Yeah, okay, I can talk. Alrighty. Zucchini. I like zucchini in my tofu scramble too. Comes out so good. I'm just gonna mix these two in the same bowl. Then we're gonna just throw the ingredients in. Not literally throw them, but I'll tell you each one again as I do them. Okay guys? Two more days and I'm turning 50. Yikes. My son's taking me to dinner at the Go Vegan Cafe. It's a really good place to eat in Las Vegas if you're vegan. Really, really good food. I think you're making flashing in the corner of my eye. Hopefully it's not gonna die. I have it plugged in, my tablet, just so I can see. The parts I forget are the, the you know, the seasoning measurements, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do the beans first. Uh, I need a scoop. We're gonna do two of these, which is eight cups. This is four cups. And this is a mixture of beans. You got black kidney beans and um, pinto beans. So you want eight cups of those. Jesus, I need a bigger spoon. It's gonna take me forever. It, this is a screwed up uh, measuring cup. Can they see me? Am I in the camera? It's kind of cracked, but I use it for dry ingredients that aren't going to ooze out. <laughs> okay, there's four. And then we got to do four more. Oh boy, this is taking forever. I'm just <laughs> going to make a mess. I just know it. Yeah. Poop! Sorry. I'm gonna have to scoop. I have no choice. Okay, guys. Like I said, I'm turning 50 on Saturday, September 14th. Hello, Burgos! This recipe, I don't know if a monkey would eat chili. It's nutritious. I, except that I'm putting cayenne pepper in it. I don't know if the monkey would... Uh, if you have a monkey as a, a family member, a pet, whatever you want to call it, there's an eight cups of beans. Okay. Um, and you're making fresh ingredients. There's no processed foods, salt, oil, sugar. 
it's good to share with your monkey. But I don't know about the cayenne pepper, so beware about the cayenne pepper. I don't know. This is one whole small onion diced. Then we got one and a half cups of fresh corn kernels, either frozen, off the cob, or in a can without salt. One and a half. We've got one cup of mild salsa. This is one and a half bell peppers. One zucchini, one yellow squash. Two cups of diced tomato. Okay. Now we're gonna do the seasoning. Hopefully, oh yeah, and the, uh, should I do the broth and then the seasoning? Yeah, I'll do the broth. How much is the broth again? <laughs> you forget, two and a half cups of broth. Uh, here we go. I got a, this is a clean one. I'm gonna shake it because the tomatoes fall on the bottom. That's one. Two and then a half. Okay. And this broth is tomato based. Put more tomatoes in your homemade broth. No salt again. Okay, now we're gonna do the seasoning. Excuse me while I whip this out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> One teaspoon. Eighteen minutes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teaspoon of cumin. Let's see. Oh, where's the garlic? Oh, two cloves of garlic. Okay. Teaspoon of cumin. Always good with your bean recipes. Okay. Teaspoon of cumin. Uh, there's two garlic cloves. So that's two. One teaspoon. Because a half a teaspoon is one garlic clove. I put a heaping one. Love garlic. Okay, one teaspoon cayenne pepper. Oops, right here. Oh, poop. I got the one that's not open. I'm not gonna go get the other one. Just a quick break the seal. <laughs> I have got a cut on my finger, so I better watch out. I think I cut myself when I was cutting veggies the other day. I, I kind of went, oh, did I cut myself? This is a heaping one too. I love cayenne pepper. It's good for your for your immune system. Okay. And then some regular pepper, I think. You know. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little dash. Whoa! That's not a little one. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna stir it. Oh wait, hey, this is really hearty. Gosh. This is going to be beautiful. Oh. You see me? I'm in the camera? Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells good, even when it's not. I'm going to stir this really good. Remember, guys, follow me on Instagram, and you will see the results. This is going to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Five minutes? That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm doing good timing, guys. Okay, now I have a Rose Will uh, pressure cooker, okay? And all, this, all you do on the Rose Will is you put it on the bean chili setting. And then that's it. I think that's 40 minutes. It's a 40 minute. Where's my... Oh well, anyway, I got beans left over. I made too many, I always make too many. Thanks for watching, share my videos guys. I really would like to spread the good health to the world. And my purpose is for all primates to eat healthy. I mean healthy and no processed foods, no sugar, nothing in a box guys. A monkey cannot buy food in the forest, put in a box, whatever you find, to feed your primate, 
Make sure it's the fresh ingredients with no salt, sugar, or processed food. I'm just asking. I love you, and I always love watching your videos. Goodbye.